This is Super Mario Quadratics, a free set of puzzles in a browser which encourage you to construct various quadratic equations to collect coins in various Super Mario levels. Here are some clips from a full playthrough with Dragon Naturally Speaking, which I'll upload later. Mouse grid. 6 1. Click. Go to sleep. So you saw Mario ran along the ground and then followed that parabola and then continued going along the ground. The problem is the parabola is way below the coin that needs to be collected. Wake up. Mouse left click. Mouse up five. Mouse up five. Mouse left click. Backspace. Press five. Go to sleep. So changing the 1 to a 5 in this equation moves the whole parabola upwards, and 5 isn't quite enough, probably 6 will hit the coiner exactly. Wake up. Backspace. Press 6. Mouse down 10. Mouse left click. Mouse left click. Mouse grid. 533. Three. Click. Go to sleep. Here we've got a basic parabola going upwards, and that's no use at all for getting across the lava. So I'm going to be tweaking this until it, it's what I need. Um, I think the peak needs to be at 10, and the height needs to be at 10. So, um, but then that doesn't tell me the how wide it is. Wake up. Press right. Press zero. Press end. Press zero. Press home. Write three characters. Press left. Minus sign. Press right. Backspace. 0 0.2. Backspace. Press one. Mouse down 10, mouse right 10, mouse left click. Mouse grid. 2, 6, 4, click. Go to sleep. Ah, the note at the bottom says that students will explore factored form, which in these formats means that the first parabola will hit the bottom at 4 and 7, the second one will hit it at 11 and 14, and then the number in front is basically the scale factor, so making it negative means that you have a mound, and making it positive means you have a dip. Wake up. Mouse grid. 377. 88. Click. Delete next character. Press 9. Tab. Left seven characters. Backspace. Backspace. Press nine. Mouse grid. Six. One eight. Click. Tab seven. Delete line. Yankee equals sign minus open bracket x minus one three close bracket. Delete that. Yankee equals sign minus three asterisk backspace. Open bracket x minus sixteen close bracket. Delete previous two characters. Backspace. One six close bracket. Tab. Delete line. Yankee equals sign minus open bracket x minus one six dot five backspace backspace close bracket 
left seven characters. Delete next character. 0 0.8. Tab. Press enter. Press enter. Go to sleep. So this one's tricky because you have to do two specific jumps to manage that. Wake up. Tab 7. Delete line. Yankee equals sign minus open bracket x minus 2 8 close bracket carrot 2 plus 1 0 left 7 characters backspace 9 left 5 characters 1.2 backspace 4 tab delete line y equals minus 1.5 open bracket x minus 3 1 close bracket carrot 2 plus sign 1 2 left 5 characters Left two characters. Backspace. One point five. Left five characters. Left two characters. Backspace. Eight. Backspace. 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 Two. Tab. Press enter. Press enter. Tab seven. Delete line. y equals minus 0 0.3 open bracket x minus 28 close bracket carrot 2 plus 5 tab delete line y equals sqrt open bracket x minus 3 4 close bracket press end press right minus 5 tab press enter Tab 5. Press enter. Tab. Mouse grid. 2 8. 8. Click. Y equals. Minus. 1. 0. Charlie Oscar Sierra. Open bracket X close bracket press left slash two point 
five. Backspace. Four. Mouse left click. Go to sleep. So if you like your equations or you just like experimenting with equations, not really knowing what you're doing and then just tweaking the various values until it fits, then this is a good activity. It'll take about an hour with voice recognition and maybe only 20 minutes without. I like it. You know, there should be more platform-based maths for people to do, particularly ones that involve extra equations and extra functions but for those who know how to code them. So it kind of seems like the same syntax as Excel and I remember the number of those. <laughs>